What's up guys, it's Fallout Kid, and today I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary, and I've got a lot to get through on this one. Um, today it's maps in Halo 4, and I'm playing a bit of uh, the big team heavies, which I absolutely love. A bit of um, hill on simple, uh, longboat, and I do play for the hill at some points, but anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Maps. Maps have always been a key feature in Halo, it makes or breaks the game. Um, in some aspects, like competitive, you want good maps. You want good, solid maps. You want medium, small maps. You want you want small maps. You want medium maps. You want large maps. Now, one of the reasons why Halo 4 wasn't successful is because the lack of small maps. The only small maps you had was um, Haven, and uh, it, that was the only good small map. The other small map you had. Well, it was a drift, but it wasn't even that small. It was more of a medium sized, and that was the and. Uh, symmetrical maps are important as well. I mean, symmetry maps are, have always been my favourite type of map in the in the game. Really, to be honest, I love symmetrical maps, and I, I'm not really sure the reason for that. I think it just flows a lot better than it would uneven. You know what I mean? You have anyway. Um, also, DLC. You need to think. Free for free. Need to think about DLC. What maps are they going to implement into the game after launch? Are they going to be small maps? Are they going to be medium maps? Are they going to be large maps? Another thing Free Thought 3 did wrong after launch was they released, I think it might have been the Majestic. I'm not sure which one it was. It, it might be Majestic. But they brought out three massive maps Harvester, or whatever it was called, and then there was two others. And they were humongous, and I didn't even get the reason for that. Um, and they shouldn't have done that. I should have brought out. Smaller maps quicker, like Monolith and Skyline. They were brilliant maps. I absolutely love them. Um, now, in Halo 5, you got to have the small maps. You've got to have the small arena style maps. You've got to have the medium maps. You've got to have the large maps. But what about remakes? Now, a game can only have so many remakes. I mean, Halo 4 had, obviously, Ragnarok remake, which really didn't work. I absolutely hate it. It was my favourite map in Reach. Uh, now it's just a, a, a bit disappointing. And Pit. Now, Pit was a brilliant map, and I thoroughly um, enjoyed playing on the Pit. It's just problem was, because it was DLC, and uh, you couldn't get it with the um, Champions Pass, not many people had it. So it didn't come up in matchmaking particularly often, but it was a good touch by 343 to uh, implement that into the game. Now the feedback on the last video was extremely good. Um, it got got quite quite a good number of views, and the feedback was generally uh, good. Um, Abian wants to say, I want to see competitive maps come back like Guardian, Epitaph, Narrows, and Construct were great maps in Halo 3. Medium maps, I think Last Resort and High Ground were perfect. Um, <laughs> Complex was rubbish. I totally agree with you there, man. Um, Sand Trap is the best uh, map for vehicle play because you can see all the type of vehicles. And I would totally agree with that. I mean, as I said last time about the implementation of the Falcon, imagine that on the um, Sand Trap. Um, what else we got? Um, Avengers say. No, wait. Uh, Oh, okay. Ven oh man, <laughs> lost it. Okay, Avengers say top ten maps of Halo Four would be Haven, Exile, Longbow. Um, oh, those were top three. Oh, Meltdown, Complex, Solace, Settler, Vertigo, Simplex, Daybreak. Um, yeah, I sort of agree with you that Haven was by far one of the best maps, but Simplex. Oh, jeez, man. Simplex was good, wasn't it? I like Simplex a lot. Um, anyway, my top 10 coming into Halo 5, what maps do I want to see remade? Coming in at number 10, we have Skyline. Um, it was a generally a good map. It was good for competitive, CTF it worked, Slayer it worked. It was an all around a very good map. And I think that um, if it had been a uh, non DLC required map, it would have been definitely a um, contender uh, for a bit higher up. It would have been more popular. Next at number 9 we have Longbow, the map I'm playing on at the moment, was actually, as it happens, one of my fate, one of my more favourite uh, big team maps in the game, um, so yeah, that's why I put that there. Uh, at number 8 we have the Pit, um, the reason I put the Pit so high up, the lit, uh, well, low down if you know what I mean, is because it was remade in Halo 4 and you can't really remake a game twice, a map twice, otherwise you're just overdoing it. And people are going to be asking the question, why aren't 343 making anything new? They're just pulling out the old trick again. Um, 
So yeah, at number seven we have Haven from Halo uh, Halo Four, um, arguably the best um, map in the game. Um, was one of my favourites, obviously, because it was a pretty badass map. Um, it did work very no what nicely, and I thought it was it was a good map to play on. You know, uh, good for competitive um, various other things. Coming at number six, we have High Ground from Halo Three. Uh, now, I chose this map because it was medium size. I haven't had a me uh, medium size really on this yet, and I think it was just it just worked. You know what I mean? It just worked, and I think with the addition of like. BR, well, BR coming back and also DMR, it should work pretty well. Um, it was also good with the ghosts and the, but the fact that map control was deadly important on high ground. Coming at number 5, we have Guardian from Halo 3, an absolute beast map. You may remember my first Halo 3 for free game. Um, it was I got played Guardian on that and I have to say since then I've absolutely enjoyed it. It's been a great, uh, great map to play on and I'd be honest, I think it was a very, very nice map. Um, symmetrical, etc. You know what I mean. Uh, had a sniper on it. <laughs> um, all right, number four, we have Sand Trap, um, Abian's favouritest map of all time. Uh, uh, what's it? Uh, big team map. Um, I have to agree. I mean, with the Falcon, how cool would that be, man? That would require so much team play, and would overall be just be a good map. I think it would just work with DMR's. Obviously, going to be a bit OP on it, but I have a feeling it would be. Um, a lot better than Ragnarok was, uh, you know what I mean? Um, number three, oh, the Spire. If that came back, I would absolutely love them, because the Spire just promoted so much team play with the Falcons and the Gunners and the capturing the objectives, and, oh, that was just so good, and, like, that was, like, it was, vi it was pretty much this game type, uh, vi big team heavies, because, literally, that's all you did on it, there's so many vehicles, hectic, not competitive at all, but it was fun, and that's what some people come to play. Uh, coming in at number two, top two maps, I want to see Simplex remade. I know, I know, call me a dirt because it's a Forge map, but Simplex, that was a great map. That that was a good, good map. It was no, uh, the only power weapon that spawned was the railgun. It all, it had the um, it had the overshield in the middle, symmetrical again, small arena style. Good for CTF, good for um, Slayer. It was it was a good map. Um, what else? I'm trying to uh, at number one, the map that I want remade in Halo 5 is Narrows from Halo 3. It's gonna be a Halo 3.2, really, isn't it? Um, Narrows. Oh, Narrows was just it symmetrical again. Um, it just worked because of the narrow play and. The fact that the snipers, it was it was good for competitive because the spawns were predictive. Um, it all worked nice. It flowed like a boss. Top middle was the place to be. Um, if you you could easily get spawn trapped, which was sometimes a bad thing for the losing side, but it was just promoted team play as well. And the fact that it was used in the circuit also was um, a good thing. But the only problem I have with this type of make, remaking these maps is. Do we actually want a Halo 3.2? Is that what it's going to be become if we include these maps? As I said at the start of the video about how many remakes, one or two probably will only make the list. Hey, Halo 4 at launch, Ragnarok, the only remake. And then Pit came in later. But I think because of the style of Halo 4's gameplay, Ragnarok or um, Valhalla was sort of ruined slightly and it's sort of I sort of I haven't liked it as much as I did in Halo 3. Um that but that was because of the implementation of DMR which was overpowered at long range and the BR was not quite as long range so it was difficult to um you know control if you know what I mean. Um anyway guys I'd like to thank you uh for the support you showed. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um I might let the gameplay run out. In fact, there's not even that much time left on it. Um, yeah, those are my top 10 uh, remakes. Comment below your top 10 remakes that you want to see remade. I never played Halo 2. That's why none of the Halo 2 maps were um, commented. I mean, in my suggestions. They were just Halo 4 and Halo uh, uh, Halo 3 maps. Um, also, i just like to say, Halo 4 maps were higher up the list. 
because you can't remake, really remake a game just after it's came out, really, can you? Because that would defeat the object. Anyway, guys, it has been your boy, Fire Kid. Um, I might do a gameplay review later in the week, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Peace out.